All right, this is Matty G, the backyard chicken farmer. I just want to show you our outside brooder. And this is, uh, we have hatched in September, and now it's now March, uh, middle of March in New York. And you can see it snows and bitter cold. It's about 18 degrees today. But I want to show you this construction. I built it around Christmas time. It's just regular four by four. I put wheels in the back and a little trailer hitched in the front. So I can lift this way, it's about 300 pounds. I mean, I originally estimated about 200, but started adding some flooring in, started adding um, some, obviously the hardware and then insulation and the double doors and, and then the thickness. I got some free wood that was a uh, half inch instead of quarter inch. So it's about 300 pounds. Um, it's got wheels though, so you can put it onto a little mower tractor and uh, wheel it around where you want it. Right now it's, just, it's, it's kind of a mobile coop. Okay, the back, back pen here is also not attached but bumped up against it and it, that is um, lined with the very light PVC obviously cheap the most expensive parts we're getting actually the corner brackets because they're considered and if you look in um, the little T's here the, the little corner they're called furniture PVC um, connections that you get from Amazon those are the most expensive part of it otherwise it's about 40 bucks and the outside is deer uh, netting. Okay, that's probably the biggest part of the, this whole expense. Um, I do have it hooked up to electricity because I want to be able to run lights. And like if you ever see my other chicken coop video, um, I have water in there and I don't want it to freeze. So I have it hooked up to a heating pipe element which you get for like 12 bucks, a six foot line. I'll show you in a second. Um, and it allows the temperature, so they have a little thermostat in there, so it turns on at around 35 degrees, turns off at 45, and it's just enough to keep the water from freezing in the lines. Gives the chickens uh, uh, drinkable water that's not frozen. So during the winter times, which is a long period of time in the Northeast, um, you're not out here every day replacing water. Uh, for me, it's just convenience. Um, it doesn't add anything for the chickens. You can, obviously, chickens are very hardy, as long as they have fresh water, you're fine. But to me, it's all about maintenance. I come out here probably once a week. Uh, myself, uh, they're not let what's in here right now are my silkies. I hatched in September and they're pretty big now, um, but uh, they're not laying yet. The hens aren't laying, but the roosters are crowing. They don't like snow, so they're just stuck in here. Um, I have the automatic door opener to open up around noon because I have roosters. I don't want them in here in the morning, I'd rather have them crowing here. You can't even hear them when they start crowing in here. But around noon they stop, so that's when the door opens and they get out. But they don't like snow, so they just pretty much hang out. So I have the door opener. Um, it's about 80 bucks, a little motor up top, tied to a little piece of uh, wood there that opens and closes. Like I said, opens at noon, closes around six o'clock. Um, and during the summertime, I'll actually, when it gets brighter out, a little bit longer at days, I'll obviously change that. So I have the timers up there really cheap they were about 12 bucks for the two they came in a pair which is pretty cool and it's great programming because you have two uh, different programming settings so I could, they go on and off in the morning and on and off at night so it's perfect they got a light up there give them 14 hours of light um, water bucket six gallons same as the other one I can make a lot of wine so I have wine buckets food grades um, obviously people, I got some comments before saying hey we're using plastic they're gonna kill them with the PVCs PVCs whatever it is PVAs I don't know, I forgot. It's cold out here. Um, and now it's this food grade bucket. And uh, also I got my brewing spigot there and a line coming down to the water feeders. And that line, um, this line here, which goes on, once again, turns on 35 degrees, turns off 45, I know I just mentioned that. I clean this out every week. Um, Sir, summertime will be too, because they do a lot of business outside. Um, this is another feed box I, I built. This is about five inches on the side and about, I think I made it for 12 inches long. This holds, honestly, I put some lettuce in there for them, but this is great for, they don't, there's no spill. As you can see, there's no food on the ground ever, not even one, you know, one little uh, pellet at all. And the pellets are able to go in there and this fits about almost a full bag, about 40 pounds of food. I do have the lid on there. That I keep on there and made and so the dust doesn't get in doesn't contaminate the food or if I'm working with the water putting the water in um, it doesn't spill in 
when I created it, I don't have much room to put water in here, or otherwise I gotta take it apart to refill it. But what I do is have another bucket of water that I set on top here, and then I have a like a siphon line, and I just siphon the water back in there. No big deal. Um, that's about it. Uh, these chicks here, like I said, they're uh, a little adolescent. Um, they're, they're hens, um, roosters are maturing. And the hens aren't laying yet, so I'll probably expect them for silkies. They probably lay, it'll take about eight months, I heard, seven, eight months. Um, and they'll probably start laying next month. Uh, what other features? That's about it. Any comments or questions, just put them down. Otherwise, you can stare at the chickens like uh, my kids do. <laughs> oh, I, one thing, I did put a roosting bar up. Uh, no, just really quick, just to see if they like to have bee roosting. And my silkies don't roost at all. I mean, it's just nothing but just regular dust up there that they just, nothing, you can see, they don't even climb up. They don't do anything. If anything, they hit their head on it, and that's about it. But they, uh, they're pretty content to just nestle on the ground. That's pretty much why I kind of clean this up once a week so they're not sitting on their own filth. Um, any other, what's other construction out here in case you want to see it? For those, like, the home build stuff. Nest box just juts out. Um, I guess the biggest trick is making sure that there's no water that comes in. That's pretty much why you have a little overhang that comes over your nest boxes. So even if you do have a crease there, this line is just overkill, honestly. It's, it's not line, but it's cover is a little overkill. Just regular tar paper that had some extra. Um, I have um, the shingles here, which is one big sheet of shingle. I, I don't know. Uh, it's on top as well. Um, it's just easier. To have to individually shingle it, shingle it and cheaper and probably less weight as well if it's just one big piece um i didn't get the drip edge yet so i was gonna put it in but you know it's, it was too cold to work out here there's some finishing touches i have to do okay so inside i just got a little bar there so i have three nesting boxes for these girls um, you know obviously uh, that's plenty for them. Uh, I always, they say you probably just need two, but I put three in there. They're pretty big, so they can huddle in there. Um, pretty low to the ground, since silkies don't jump. And if this is going to be a brooder, a double as a brooder too, so that's low enough for them to, for the chicks to get up and down. I'll get caught in there. Uh, I have a little door outside. That's just a removable plank. Um, window. And I have my ventilation door here, which I put just regular hot sh uh, screening that I put on the outside so no bugs can get in there. Obviously, during nighttime. But the bugs get in, obviously, through the other do through the door and flies. But at least cut down on them. And that's about it. So that's my little outside brooder slash coop that I have that uh, keeps it fairly warm. And I'll let you know when the hens start laying some eggs.